The markets, media, and individuals are all eager to learn more about new vaccine data. But distribution may ultimately come down to cold chain storage. If this isn't already in your lexicon, you can expect to hear a lot more about cold chain storage in the coming months. As scientists and companies across the globe endeavor to produce reliable vaccines for COVID-19, worldwide cases continue to grow at an alarming rate, underscoring the need for effective vaccination options. Pfizer recently revealed that its experimental vaccine is more than 90% effective based on initial late-stage trial results and is continuing to monitor safety data before release. This vaccine and several others in clinical trials, however, require complex cold storage up to minus 70 or 80 degrees Celsius. That is below negative 94 degrees Fahrenheit, a significant challenge for the most sophisticated hospitals, not to mention developing countries and rural hospitals. This extreme cold storage requirement will create both distribution and storage issues throughout the world. Even the influential Mayo Clinic does not presently have this capability. More recently, Moderna noted that its promising vaccine candidate requires long-term refrigeration at minus 20 degrees Celsius, although it can be stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius for up to 30 days and remains stable at room temperature for up to 12 hours. While this is an improvement in terms of cold storage, Careful refrigeration is still a key element of the vaccine. On the other hand, Sologenics's Cyvax COVID-19 vaccine candidate engages technology to promote stability, even at elevated temperatures. Trading on the NASDAQ under the symbol SNGX, Sologenics anticipates the release of additional study data this year, as well as potential phase one clinical trial in the next six to nine months. Cellogenics CEO Dr. Christopher Shaver offers some insights on the potential for the Cyvax vaccine. The need for a global vaccine means that there is an extensive market that no single vaccine will be able to fill for several years. We also expect that semi-annual or annual vaccinations may be required to maintain immunity and reduce overall virus circulation. Because of its broad applicability and expected safety profile, Cyvax should be well positioned to capitalize on the need for vaccines that do not require cold storage. Even better, the heat stabilized format that only requires sterile water for reconstitution at the clinical site should simplify distribution, including to remote areas within the United States and around the world. In addition to the extreme challenges presented by cold storage requirements, Another critical issue with the vaccine distribution revolves around syringe availability. Sologenics believes Cyvax has the potential to be injected with a needle-free device as well as a standard syringe, which may alleviate supply concerns and constraints. Cyvax is also expected to be manufactured without the need for animal-derived products, further eliminating supply restrictions. It is intended to include all components in a single vial that only entails the addition of sterile water, which is stable and offers widespread distribution. As with other public health solutions programs within Sologenics, the current focus is pursuing and securing non-dilutive funding sources to advance Cyvax research. To find out more, visit Sologenics.com.